it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. I wanted to pop on here really quick and just share a summer update of our 2022 Granny Stash Down Challenge. We are making a granny square blanket in the year 2022. We do this every year. And each year we kind of collect all of our yarn scraps and I add to it throughout the whole year because a lot of times when we finish a project, we have a little bit of yarn left and it's not quite enough, feels kind of weird to throw it away, but at the same time, it's not quite enough for anything else. So what I've done is held multiple strands of yarn that I have on hand to create this beautiful kind of technicolor blanket. So it's really fun and it kind of incorporates all the yarn that I've used throughout the year. So I'm using a large hook and um, several strands of yarn and it's a wonderful way to use up yarn. You have a beautiful blanket when you're done. You can donate it, you can give it away at the end of the year. Um, use it as a holiday gift at the end of the year as well. Um, I didn't put a whole lot of rounds on it this time around between, we had our last update in the spring. Um, I worked on it a little bit, but you know, it's summer. I don't do as much blanket work in the summer, but I did put a few rounds on it. We've got some, some lovely blues and I just keep going and going, and going. When one strand runs out, I grab another ball of yarn and just keep tying it on and tying it on and weaving the ends in as they go along. So at the end of the year, all these little tails that I wove in as I went along, as I crocheted, um, we can just snip off. So we're gonna have another stash down update in the fall. I'll be putting some more rounds on it and show you some more progress. Um, if you're not familiar with this project, um, if you hop on over to the blog, the link is below, you'll see a breakdown of the size hook and everything I've used, as well as two um, community groups that you can join to kind of hang out with other makers of the projects and our other crochet alongs. I do one seasonally. I do a fall, a holiday, a spring, and a summer, so you can learn about those too. But for these per, uh, particular projects, we have a Facebook group and we have a Ravelry group, and the links for those can be found down below. So I will see you for the next update we're gonna do in the fall, and we're gonna put some more sizing on this. Now, a lot of you have been sharing your blankets, so definitely join those groups because you can share, share what, um, and see what other people have done. Some people have made multiple blankets because they have lots of scrap yarn. Um, some people are on like their third and fourth blanket, so they're really fun to make. They're kind of like, once you get them going, it's really fun uh, to see how these colors are playing out. So join us on those groups, um, stitch up a granny blanket. You can make it as large or small as you want. We started with a small square uh, at the beginning of the year and you just keep adding more and more and more rounds. It's very thick. So you could also use this as like uh, for a pet or uh, like a play mat too. It's, it almost has like the feeling of a really squishy rug. So um, join us for this stash down. It's really fun. You can start any time of the year. There's no, you don't have to start at the beginning or anything like that. And I'll put all the details about the project and the groups. If you haven't joined our crochet along groups, you can join those as well. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.